This is Jason from Jabba PC. We're going to be doing an unboxing on an Inwing 303C in black. And it is a monster. Well, it's a standard size case. But a whole bunch of stuff for the, for the build. And this nice little case. And you can put all, most of your manuals back in here after you get done. And pull all the parts you need out there. But let's see what we've got in here. Not sure if you guys are aware, but Inwin is my favorite case company. Sorry for any other case companies that makes good cases, but I can't help it. I've had a, a love for Inwin since I bought an S-Frame uh, about five or six years ago. Um, but we don't have a lot of sponsors, so if you guys want to sponsor us, please feel free to shoot us an email or message. We've got some washers. We've got some screws. We've got some more screws. Fan screws. They give you plenty of equipment. There's a four pin for, for lighting, for, for your strips to thin it out. Here's your standoff screws and your standoff nut. Your GPU bracket brace. About 10 or so zip ties. And your 303 manual. Alright, so that's all that. Let's put this aside and we will unbox this case. All right, there's our Inwin 303 in black. Uh, this would be a very similar build to mine, which is an Inwin 303 uh, C MSI Dragon Edition. So mine has a little bit more of the flare on the front and side, but with these stripes right here, and it has MSI down at the bottom. You can't see it, but <clears throat> that's what comes with the... And that's ours there. His is gonna be look, look a little similar to this, because where he's gonna have the closed loop coolers as mine has the open, open, open loop, but very similar case. Well, it's the exact same case, it's just not a little bit different on the outside. All you do is just push this little button down and bring it forward and pull it out, and that removes the glass. And right here's where a radiator or your fans can go, as well as you can do another um, one in the back. When I initially did this bit over here, I had two of the 1080s um, in SLI, but um, there was no room. They were so far down that I couldn't put the fans at the bottom. So I pulled one of the 1080s out and just put the fans at the bottom. So just know that if you have to do an SLI, you're really going to lose those spots down at the bottom um, if you do more than one GPU. <clears throat> All right, so there's the front of it. This, this is going to light up. Um, RGB lighting, you should be able to control this. There's a lighting strip built into the glass. Um, here's all your cords. It has a USB-C 3.1 on the front, as well as two USB 3.0s. This is where the cooling is going to come in for your uh, CPU cooler. Or fans. And then there's the back. <clears throat> so we need to pull the back off of it real quick. These do not have to come out all the way. You just unscrew them until they are loose, and then the panel should come back. Just like that. So they stay in there. Put that to the side. <clears throat> all right, so you see how cable management is going to be in here. Um, your case, your, your one of the things that's a little bit of an issue for, for cooling is that the uh, when you put your power supply in here, this covers up pretty much one whole fan. Um, doesn't hurt aesthetically, uh, but then you got to put all the cords in this little slot right here. So between the power supply being here and all the cords being here, it really is, I'd probably say, reducing your um, inlet velocity, maybe maybe half. I'm not quite positive on that. I don't have any problems with that. I mean, it's like I said, mine's currently running on the seat or not, but it's running at 30, 27 Celsius. So, and mine cools well, but that's what you've got. Not my favorite aspect of that case, but looks wise, it looks really good. Please like, subscribe, and share.